So the folks over at IK Multimedia have just released a new firmware update for Tonex Pedal. It's not a massive update, but it's a very useful update and it brings a feature that a lot of folks have been hoping and asking for. Now, before I go into that, a very quick word about the difference between software updates and firmware updates. After I released my video for the last Tonex software update, I had tons of questions for folks coming and asking me how they update their pedal. A software update is not a pedal update. So there are pedal firmware updates and there are software updates. Sometimes there are just software updates that add features to the software and other times we have pedal firmware updates. So those version numbers will be different. For instance, up until now and before today's update, we were on 1.0.9 on the firmware on the pedal, but we were on 1.6.1 on the Tonex software. So we just want to be aware of the difference. Today's update is going to actually be a firmware update for the pedal and it's going to add a tuner to the pedal so that we will have a tuner right on board Tonex pedal, which can be a very useful thing to have. So first things first, we're gonna head over to IK Product Manager. I'm gonna show you what you have to do there first of all. Then we're gonna head over to Tonex software. I'll show you what you have to do there to update your Tonex pedals firmware. And then we'll head over to the pedal and I'll show you what the new functions are that have been added with this firmware. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to the IK Multimedia Product Manager software on your computer and then go into the software tab at the top and find your Tonex Max or Tonex license. And you just want to make sure that you have the latest version installed. If you do, you will see a green check mark over here. If not, you will have a yellow update option. You'll want to install the software first. Once you've done that, you'll want to start up Tonex software. Make sure the Tonex pedal is connected via USB and head on over to the librarian tab right here. And it'll show that your Tonex pedal is connected. And it'll also show what firmware version you are on. It may also pop up with a window saying that it's time to update your firmware or that there is a firmware update available. But you can always click this little arrow here and hit firmware update and this is the window that may pop up on its own or you can get it to pop up by clicking that firmware update from the pull down menu and it'll tell you the firmware version you're on and what the latest version is. If you aren't on the latest version then you're going to want to click update firmware and let that process complete. So once you have that all done, you're gonna to wanna to head over to your Tonex pedal like I have here on camera. You're gonna to wanna to go into your global settings. So you can do that by long pressing your model encoder and then rotating once to where it says global settings, press the encoder again. Now, we're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down close to the end where we see it says tuner. Now, when we press that, we're gonna have a few options here. We're gonna have mute, we're gonna have through and we're gonna have off. So we can completely disengage the tuner so that if we long press any of these buttons, it just will not activate. We can set it to through, which means when we do activate the tuner, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment, that the sound is gonna to continue to travel through the pedal. It's not gonna be muted. There won't be any silent tuning. Or we could head to mute, which means when we engage the tuner, we have the output of Tonex pedal muted, so there will be no sound, which would be great on stage if we wanted to tune silently between songs. Let's go with that. Now I can come out of that, and if I scroll down one more selection in my global settings, I have a ref. If I press this, it's going to allow us to be able to change the reference that the tuner is working off of. And this can go all the way down to 415 hertz, all the way up to 465 hertz, but it comes set default at the standard A440 hertz, which we'll leave it at for now. So now that we're out of there and we have things set the way we want, the way that we're gonna engage the tuner is by long pressing the preset that we've selected. So you'll notice now the tuner is engaged. We can exit the tuner by pressing any switch, but you'll notice that if we long press a switch that isn't the selected preset, the tuner will not engage. So it has to be the selected preset. So if this was a selected preset, I can long press this, and then the tuner will come up on the screen and I can press any button to get out of that. Now, if we do have the tuner engaged, let's see how it works. Here I have one of my guitars. Let's see what happens when we pluck a string now. Pluck a string and you can tell that this is a little bit sharp. So you're gonna see, well, now it's come back into tune here. So you're gonna see both arrows around the note that we are tuning and all three LEDs are also lit. So if we were flat though, we notice that the LED to the left is lit and the arrows up here on the display 
show flat. You can bring that back up into tune. All the arrows line up with the E and I can go sharp and you'll notice how not only do we have the readout on the screen, but we also have the readout with the LEDs. Now, if we want to do something like drop D, you'll notice here I'm at D sharp. It has a dot beside the D. If I keep going, that dot should disappear. Now I've done drop D and I can go through all of my strings because I drop D, things are out of tune a little bit. But you see there works quite nicely and a really nice feature that we have added to Tonex Pedal. All right, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that that's going to be a useful feature for you on your Tonex Pedal. I think it's going to be quite handy for a lot of folks to have a tuner right on their Tonex Pedal and not have to rely on any outside tuners. So go on and make sure your software's up to date, get your firmware up to date on your pedal and you'll have that tuner function that you can use. Today I'm going to leave you with a demo video for one of my most recent Tonex Tone Model collections. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out and all the links will be below to where you can check out my Tonex Tone Models. Thanks so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thanks again so much for sharing your time with me and I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Ciao for now.